What is fastening torque? What in the world is nut busting torque? And what's the difference? Also, how much force do these impact wrenches put out? Well, with the help of our proto torque wrench, our workbench, and a little math and ingenuity, we'll give the details to you in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. That's right, you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. So let's not even talk about it anymore. Let's go ahead over to the workbench, start diving in on some numbers, and hopefully we'll explain this in some pretty good detail so you'll understand it. So we're gonna figure out what the difference is between nut busting torque and fastening torque. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our torque wrench and we've got it set here for 200 foot pounds. And so we're gonna take this and we're gonna tighten each one of these nuts. We're just gonna do five of them. That's a decent test. Uh, so we're going to take five of them and we're going to torque them to 200 foot-pounds. There's 210.6. That's 203. That's 200.9. So we had 206, 203, 200.9, 199.9. and 201.1. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our same torque wrench and we're gonna figure out the value, what it takes to break these free. Now what that's gonna do, that's gonna determine the nut busting torque. So in other words, when somebody claims, um, like Milwaukee touts that this has got their M12 study, M12 fuel stubby, has 250 foot-pounds of force um, when on speed three or setting three, that it's got 250 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. Now, that does not mean that it will fasten this nut to 250 foot-pounds. What it means is, if this nut is torqued to 250 foot-pounds, it has the strength to actually remove that nut. Now, what's the difference? Well. When you, look at a, when you look at a nut, when you look at a bolt, you see the pitch of the threads. You got a ramp effect, right? So the harder you tighten, just like when you're tightening a bolt, it's harder to tighten it than it is to loosen it. That's the same effect of the nut busting torque versus fastening torque. So what we're gonna determine is, what is that difference? Then we can back our way into figuring out torque on an impact like the M12 stubby. So I've got a 250 foot pound torque wrench. We've now torqued these to as close to 200 foot-pounds as we can get them. Now we'll take a reading of what it takes to break these free. One fifty-three point five. One fifty-four point eight. 151.2, 165, last one, 168.9. So now we'll take these and we'll tally these. We'll come back with the totals. So when you look at that math, when you look at these numbers here, so we went ahead and calculated for each one of these numbers. So this is what we torqued it to. And this is actually what it took to break these free. Uh, and you see it's everywhere from 75% is the low. So 75, 76, 75, 83, and 84% comes to an average of 79%. Now, I can tell you personally that I've checked this many times and it always falls somewhere around that 80% range. So I'm gonna call it 80%. It's kind of that number of the difference between nut busting torque and fastening torque. In other words, and thread pitch has a ton to do with that. Uh, friction on the nut, friction on the fastener, 
That's why I run double, double washers on here, just to try to eliminate any friction um, from the nut itself with, in regards to not being the threads, if you will. So anyway, so if we look at that, now what we can do, since all these nuts are loose now, we can now take our stubby impact, we can put it on force, you know, put it on speed three or power mode three, and let's torque these things down as hard as it'll go, and let's say we'll hold it for, let's say five seconds. So we'll let it hammer for five seconds on each nut, then we'll break these free, that should give us a reading, which will be the what it takes to break it free. We can divide by 0.8 or divide by 80%. Should give us our actual nut busting torque of the M12 stubby. Also, you can see we have a full battery on this one as well. So no questions about whether or not we've got a full battery. Okay, I did notice one thing when we were doing that, that it dropped down to a third cell on the battery. This is the second time I've run through this. I'm still okay with it. If you're okay with it, that's not gonna determine a lot, but let's go ahead, let's check these values and see what kind of range we're in. So we'll turn our torque wrench on. Gonna break this free. We got 184.9, so let's go ahead and record that. Got 206.7. 175.7. And last one. 166.6. So again, to look at those, you've got 184.9, 206.7, 175.7, 177.3, and 166.6. So after compiling those, uh, so basically if we divide this number by 0.8 or by 80%, then that's gonna give us uh, what that nut busting torque is. 231 foot-pounds, 258, 220, 222, and 208, which comes to an average of 228. Um, I, I call that okay. Again, Milwaukee claims 250 foot-pounds. We definitely cleared that on one of them. Uh, again, you know, with different fasteners, with different sockets, you can make those numbers roam. Um, I will tell you I've done this before with the stubby, and I think it came out to 237. So about nine foot pounds difference. I'm gonna call that okay. Again, we're not using you know, a $5,000 machine to actually check the value, uh, but that kind of gives you an idea of the difference between nut busting torque and fastening torque. So there you have it. I'm telling you, I don't know how many times we have done this math and it always falls in that 80% range of that difference between nut busting torque and fastening torque. And again, a lot of that has to do with the pitch of the threads and the type of faster and those sorts of things. Also, when it comes to the force that the actual impact wrench can, can change um, or can put out, if you will, we've seen the output change just based off the size of the faster, the size of the impact socket, things like that, because you have to take inertia into play and things like that as well. So it's not just a single source that has a flat number. So those things will vary a little, but again, we've seen that stay within that 80% window. And when we see a tool come within, you know, five, 6% of the, the touted claims of it, we're gonna accept that as it's okay. Uh, again, maybe our math is off a little bit, maybe our torquing techniques and things like that may be off a little bit, but we think we're in that window. And as, again, as long as these tools fall within that window, we're fine with accepting that. You know, if, if this tool's falling in that 225 to 240 foot pound range even, and then we see those numbers even bump up above there, 
we're going to take the claims of being 250 foot pounds. So again, it, this wasn't out to actually, you know, tell that numbers were bad on certain tools, but just kind of explain the difference and explain what nut busting, <laughs> explain what nut busting torque is as well as what fastening torque is and the difference between them and to show you kind of how we came to those numbers. Hopefully that explained it to you. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Have a great day. Keep smiling.